So what else is going on in the world? You've been keeping up with anything? Uh, not really. I this, haven't either. This the news hurts. It does. I try to stay away from it. Um, I've been driving Baby J crazy because I have just been. We have access to a Disney Plus account. It's not ours. Don't tell anybody. Oh no. Uh, we 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 log into somebody else. Uh, but I've been watching like on a twenty four hour span. Uh, the Simpsons. Oh. I, st- okay. I started because I just wanted to go through all the seasons. So I started watching them. The, the, from the very first episode, I guess about a month ago, and I'm currently in season 15. Good lord! Of the show, yeah. You're just rewatch rewatching the whole thing. The whole thing. I'm going through them because uh, yeah, it's, it's season 33 I think is about to be put on to Disney Plus, and then like the 34 is about to. That's start. a weird app for the show. All through the 90s and early 2000s, before you know Disney bought Fox, right? They badmouth them all the time, uh, but now. There's like when you go onto the Disney Plus app, there's like Bart and he's got M- M- Mickey ears on <laughs> to something. Oh man, it's it's kind of silly, but but yeah, I thought it's weird too because you know, and they're all about the Simpsons Disney, whereas they also own Family Guy and Bob's Burgers, but you don't ever see anything. They're on Hulu if you want to watch episodes. Of that. They're okay. on Hulu, but it's, Hulu's also owned by Disney, but. Uh, th- they don't make any kind of mention of of those two shows. They just talk about the Simpsons all the time. I guess I don't know how. I don't know I, how that stuff works. That, I don't. That, well, I don't. I know Family Guy definitely disparages Fox, even though they're owned by Fox. I, mm-hmm. I was thinking The Simpsons did too. Oh, I, the Simpsons, I, w- I wouldn't think they were like pulling their punches oh, really, God, just because the, they're owned by them now. The Simpsons has insulted Fox since the very beginning. They've yeah, also yeah, sent, obviously. And they've also insulted Disney for many years too. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, it's all bitter irony. But yeah, D- Disney's all about The Simpsons. But you're right. It's like. Of all the shows, I feel like I feel like the the uh, upper echelon at Disney has not watched an episode of The Simpsons. Well, it's it's like the like the new like all the new Star Trek shows that are on Paramount Plus. Uh, they're all like Star Wars and not like Star Trek. So you can just tell that the people who are writing the, for these shows are just like corporate writers. They have no idea. They've never seen an actual episode of any of the other Star Trek shows ever. They're just going off of ah, it's a space show, so you gotta have big, big blasts, big, big fight scenes, and things like that. And that's what these new Star Trek shows yeah, are. The Star Trek's supposed to be heady. Star Trek is supposed to be like uh, politics. Po- I was about to say politics. Yeah. It's supposed to be like political. It's supposed to yeah. be about like humanity. It's like legitimate yeah. problems that we, like like our society would face that far in the future. It's like still relatively familiar stuff, just on a grand scale of out in the wor- out in the galaxy somewhere. You know, MLK was a Trekkie. He, he was. One, he, he was one of the original show. Trekkies. So was Lucille Ball. You know, she she greenlit the show. The I original. Didn't know, I didn't know that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you've, if you've ever seen Desi Lu Studios at the end of old TV shows like The Andy Griffith Show, Dick Van Dyke Show, I think so. I think so. Uh, Gomer Pyle, USMC, uh, Desi Lu Studios was owned by Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball. Uh, I did not know that. When Desi and Lucille Ball uh, divorced, somehow, I don't remember how it worked exactly, but she got most of the control of Desi Lu. And so she was the one that green, greenlit a lot of shows that were produced there. Uh, and one of them was Star Trek, and Des- the, the, the executives at Desi Lu were going to pass on it because they were like, "Yeah, this is a stupid show. It's going to be done." Yeah. And she went to bat for Star Trek. Like, this is a really interesting show. I think people would really find it interesting and be very and entertaining at the same time. So, it ha- if it not have been Star Trek fans, always say they owe it to Lucille Ball that who, start that the Star Trek universe even exists. Who was um who was the um the actress Michelle Williams? Is that her name? Michelle uh, from from Star Trek. Lieutenant Uhuru. Oh, uh, Nichelle re- Nichols. Nichelle Nichols. Yeah. Yeah, I just, um, I, I remember specifically I read an article about how, oh, MLK was a Trekkie. Like, she was in the middle of, uh, she was going to try and, like, leave the show and, mm-hmm. like, do something on Broadway. Mm-hmm. And um, somebody told her, like, hey, you've got a fan out here. He's like, okay. And she came out, she's Martin Luther King. She's like, well, okay, this fan's got to, he's got to wait. Yeah. Because, like, like, the leader of my people's here. Right. And he's like, no, I'm the fan. And, and he, she in, ended up telling him, like, I plan on leaving the show soon. He's like, no, this is important. Stay. You need to stay on Star Trek. Well, and, you know, Star Trek, <laughs> I mean. Did. Yeah. You know, Star Trek still had a lot of, like, you know, like, w- women in bikinis on other planets type situations. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they were also very progressive in that they had. A, the a, first interracial kiss. First interracial kiss. They also had a, a Nichelle Nichols, you know, Uhura. 
was a was a commander. You know, I, I forget her rank, but she was of a high ranking, and she was a black female. Right. And then you had uh, uh, George Takei on there, right? Uh, who was a Sulu. And, you know, he was of high rank, too. Well, he was more of the lower of the higher ranks, but he was right. of the senior officers he's on the show. Japanese, right? He, he's, he's Japanese. He's in, in he was in an internment camp. camp here in the United States. Never forget that. We weren't we weren't golden boys during, the, during World War II either. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, they were very progressive, and they got to the next generation, and they continued that progression, and they just continued on and on with that. How How old my parents are? My dad was a Trekkie at one point. The, the original Trek. Oh, I know. Original. Yeah. My dad. Well, my <laughs> dad. Yeah. Now your dad's older than my dad, but my dad was a kid during the, and he loved, he loved it too. He was a big sci-fi nerd. He liked Star Trek. When and did Lo- it come out first? Lo- Lost in Space, all those shows. Uh, 66, the, orig- the original? 66 uh, to 69, giggity. He would have been seven, 17, 17 to 20. And my dad was like four or five, so uh, yeah. Not my five. dad wasn't. He would have been. Seven. You're never too old for Star Trek. No, hell no. I still love the Next Generation. That's really like the only Star Trek show that I I like watching. I like them all, and I know like all most of the plots and everything from all of them. But the Next Generation is the only one I really like to watch, and uh, that was the one I grew up with. Weirdly enough, like my my parents grew up with the original sh- series. I grew up with Next Generation and Deep Space Nine and all those. 